thanks Glenn Roberts from Motorcycle Mojo Magazine. And I'm going to show you the Rabaconda Street Bike Tire Changer. I don't know if you would tinker on motorcycles or if you've ever done your own tire change with tire irons, but it's not very much fun. The, uh, the Rabaconda is going to change your life if you change tires in your own garage. And let me show you what's involved with the kit. It all, it all comes in this carry bag. It's just easy to move around. So this kit is the starter kit. It comes with grease, grease brush, and the two accessories I bought after the fact. It comes with two uh, centering tools for your tires to go in the drop center. A duck head, standard duck head, a strap, and the grab on the machine itself. It's very, very slick. Sets up in a couple minutes. And that's it. Everything you need to change tires very efficiently. It comes with a manual, 35 page manual, uh, clear pictures, color. The text is clear and understandable. Nice job. Even putting this together, you realize how quality of a piece this is. You can just feel the quality and fit and finish is excellent. It's all made in, the, in Europe. My first experience using this, I just got it unpacked. And I had a project bike with no rubber on the back tire. The rubber that came off it was 20 years old, hard as a rock. This machine put that tire on in no time at all. I was very, very impressed with it. So now moving on to modern tire. Speaking of stiff tires, this tire is off a 1250GS Adventure Sport Tour or Adventure Touring Bike. Very, very short sidewall. And because it's an adventure tire, they're built very tough, they're a very stiff tire, because they take a lot of abuse. When you're on a trail, rocks, branches, roots, so they're very, they're very tough tires. They have short sidewall, which makes them tough as well. But the rabbit chrono does it, no problem at all. It takes the air out of it. This bike originally came with Michelin Anarchies on it. About 1,500 kilometers ago, I changed the tires to this Continental TKC70 Rocks, and the bead was really tough to get undone on the Anarchy. I ended up using, before I had this, I ended up using the frame of my truck, a 2x4 on the side, and a piece of 2x4 to push down as a second class lever to break the bead, and it was tough. When I first took this tire off, uh, the Rev was pretty tough on the Rabaconda too, but the Rabaconda did it, no problem. One of the accessories I had to buy, because the, the GS is a single sided swing arm, it has a, a bigger than normal hole here, it's not a bearing like in a regular. So it needs this adapter in it to easily go over the spindle so it stays in the center. to break the bead. Now this is, everything on this machine is adjustable for different size tires. still have a rotor or a, a sprocket in on your wheel. It's a lot let it step, sit up above the machine itself. Now 
And this tire has a tire pressure monitoring sensor on it at the valve stem. I'm going to deviate a little bit from the instructions because the instructions say put the valve stem at 9, nine o'clock, put your duck head on. But I found that when I did that, and I'll show you why, that it interfered with the, the sensor. I didn't want to protect the sensor. So this duck head is also an accessory, the wider duck head for the cross spoke rims. The rims that the spokes come out of the edge, so it's a fatter lip. It's a slightly different duck head. Now you want to start taking the tire off at the bottom. So we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. That puts my valve stem at 3 o'clock, which is what the instructions say. I find that the, um, the sensor got kind of caught up taking the bottom bead off. So I determined to have the, the valve stem at 9 o'clock. And you'll see. You might need this to open the tire up a little bit to get this in. So now when we spin the tire, start at 6 o'clock, my valve stem and sensor is now at 9 o'clock. And obviously we can't have the tire spinning. Rabicon for cast wheels comes with this, this uh, piece you put in the frame. And it stops the wheel from spinning, but we can't do that on spoke tires. So we use a strap. This goes under the machine. Very efficient. Now it stop the, the tire from spinning. Now you should always have lubrication, and because I can't get beet grease in here, I'm going to use. Uh, dish soap and water in the spray bottle. I'll give it some some lubrication, cut it off. And we need to get the bead started over top of the duck head. Again, we'll just make sure this one drop center. Just clip some behind it. And remember, these are very stiff tires. It's that, that simple. Now, the second bead, we need to get it up on the duck head as well. and just continue the same way. And you can see right around here, when the tire starts coming up, the bottom bead. It would interfere with the sensor. Over here, the sensor is completely out of the way. And the tire is off before it even comes close to the sensor. So sensor protected. Now we'll just clean this up. You'll be putting normally on a new tire on, but I'm going to use these same tires because they're not very old. So the mounting process, I'm going to Use, use bead grease this time. Works very well. I don't know if you change your tires regularly. Maybe you have an adventure bike and you have street tires and you want to put knobbies on once in a while. Or you go to the track and you need to change tires at the track for different conditions. Or you just have 
just for your own satisfaction because you like doing things yourself. In my case, my nearest shop is a half an hour away. So that's a half an hour there, waiting for the tire to get changed, half an hour at home, putting it back on the bike. That cuts about two hours into my, two and a half hours into my riding time. Make sure the direction is right. I'll protect the sensor. Now the duck head. Now it goes to the top. We want to get the tire just behind the duck head and over top of the tail. Just like that. Every tire needs balanced. I don't like ugly weights on and balancing it after the fact. For many years now, I've used counteract real balance beads. I've used them in tubes, I've used them without tubes, I've used them on Harleys, dirt bikes, everything. I've never had a problem with them, they work. The nice thing about this is the angle of the machine allows me to pour them in right there now so that I don't have to try to put them into the bell stem later on. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but I will be doing that before I put this bike back on, the tire back on the bike. So we'll just get this started. And I'm going to use a drop center tool. Very important because you have to get your tire in the drop center. And that's it. That's as easy as this to put a tire on and off on the uh, front of the street bike tire changer. Now you just blow it up, put it back in your bike, and you're done. After, I don't know, four or five or six practice runs, I have a tire on and off in seven minutes. That's not including breaking a stubborn bead, but it's quick. Wake up with me for going to town. To a tire shop. The, uh, the Rampicon is, I mean, it's not cheap, but it does save you a ton of money over the years. The basic kit, just the basic stuff, is $5.89. The starter kit, which I have here, with a few accessories, like the drop center tools, is $6.23. The ultimate kit has all the accessories for $7.99, and that's in US prices. There's no Canadian dealers at this time, unfortunately. The BMW hub was $39, and the, the cross bolt duck head was $45. It comes with a lifetime warranty and a money back guarantee after six months if you're not happy with it. So that's as, as easy as it is. Once again, I'm Glenn Roberts from Motorcycle Mojo Magazine. Thanks for watching.